Hello, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to be teaching you about some basic sketch tools, including the line, rectangle, arc, circle, and center line tools. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm in solid face right now in my solid face part window. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate over here. I'm going to select a sketch plane, and I am going to select the XY front plane, since I happen to currently be looking at. So once I select that, up top you can see a number of options that pop up. So we have rectangle, line, multiple lines, arc circle, three circle entities, center line, polygon with ellipse, spline, and profile operation subsets, as well as a copy move, rotate, mirror, and scale button, which allows you to change the size, obviously, of your drawings and whatnot. But we're not going to focus on that right now. We're going to focus on rectangle, line, arc circle, and center line. And we will also touch on three circle handies. So let's get right to it. So, rectangle. Once I click on that button, you can see that the information page or information tab pops up here. And it tells you everything you need to know about what you've just clicked and the controls in order to use it. So, starting from left to right, control changes whether it's a center rectangle which if I drop that point right there you can see that is a center rectangle so I selected where the center of the rectangle would be then my second click is going to drag the rectangle out and create the basic rectangle that I want now if I press control again it changes to a vertex rectangle and which where I clicked set the vertex of one side of the rectangle the F5 or properties if I want to create a dashed line or create a hatched rectangle, so on and so forth. So I'm going to stick with a solid line. To my sketch with my rectangle. Uh -huh. Then I also have a tab which is automatic or relative point plus parametric dimension. So I'm going to hit tab, and I'm going to select that, right there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and give it a dimension. So the line dimension tool on the top right is used to give a angular dimension between two lines or a length dimension of one line. So I'm going to select this right there, and I'm going to hit enter. It's going to tell me a couple options. I like to keep these normal and just hit OK. And then this is going to determine where your dimension shows up in relation to your part. So I'm going to drag it up to about there. Give myself a little bit of room. I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to let me select another line like that. I'm going to select that. I'm going to drag it out to about there. And this time I'm going to hit Cancel because those are the only two that I want. So if I hold the Control button and I click this line, it tells me that I can now edit it on the fly. Now, if I start typing in numbers, I can give it a dimension. So I'm going to give it a dimension of 4.5. Well, now it needs a reference point. So if I come down here and I click reference point once and twice, and I start dragging my mouse, I can see that I can change the reference point. Once again, I'm going to use my keypad to type in a number. So I'm going to select 2 even. I'm going to hit the enter key. And now you can see I have a 4.5 inch by 2 inch rectangle. So let's say I want to bisect that. I could go up here to my line tool and select it. Now I also have a bunch of different options here. Midpoint, uh, tangent to an object, and then the tab auto relative point plus parametric, well, parametric dimension. Excuse me. So I'm going to not choose any of those. I'm going to navigate down here to the bottom left hand of my screen. And as you can see, there's the info button that pops up. So this is auto info, and this is info to the left of it. I like the info button. I'm going to select it. And the option I'm going to select is nearest, which means it will lie coincident along that line wherever I so choose. So I'm going to hit nearest, and I'm going to come up here. And if I zoom in, I can see that I actually can pick these lines specifically see I can also choose intersection so if I choose the intersection between here and here it gives me the vertices uh, uh, automatically 
and I can come and drag it across and bisect the line that way. Quite cool, huh? Alright, I can also select midpoint, so let's say I select midpoint of that line, and I drag it out that way, and then if I hit control to make it a double line, as I drag this way, another line appears right there. And I have bisected the part. Now, what if I want to create a center line that I just want to use for construction? Well, I can come over here to the center line tool. I'm going to select this crossroads right here. As you can see, it will follow and automatically lock into the 90 degree uh, angles between lines here. So I can be 90 degrees perpendicular to my top, left, bottom, and right lines. Or I can hit the control button, and this time double means that there's actually two lines going perpendicular to each other from where you clicked at 90 degree uh, angles. So that means that I can click and drag this over to this line here, and I automatically have a center line that's going through this top line, as well as the other two lines. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select arc circle, I'm going to drop it in the center, and I'm going to drag it to the midpoint of this line right there. And now I have an inscribed circle. Now what about three circle andes? So if the three circle andes, I'm going to select the three circle andes button, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select nearest. I'm going to select down here and up here and now as you can see those two points will always and forever be tangent to the circle I am dragging my mouse to create. So if I drag it this way we can see that it is still tangent. If I drag it this way the circle gets even bigger but those two points still lie along a tangent curve with one another. So I'm actually going to just eyeball it to about right there to create that circle. And there you have it. There are some basic sketch functions to include the rectangle, line, arc circle, three circle entities, and centerline tools. Thank you for watching. I hope you all learned something today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for our to our videos in order to stay updated and stay in the know. Thank you.